Okay, so here we are at the new Gahnawage uh, Welcome Center and we're going to be speaking with Tourism Development Officer Kimberly Cross to give us some details on what people can expect when they come to visit the new center. So how is everything going so far? It's going really well. Um, our open house today is a really big success. We've had a lot of people come and visit. We've had visitors from Holland, Switzerland, Orlando. We've roughly counted maybe 60 to 75 people and we'll do our final count afterwards, but it's mm -hmm. been a tremendous success so far. Okay, so what was the idea or ideology behind creating a welcome center here in the community? Well, the welcome center is here to boost tourism in the community. It's to help visitors when they come in to have a center to find information, such as the map or tourism guide, um, and local business information, so such as uh, restaurants can put their menus here. We can also have uh, gift shops with their brochures. Here at the center, we also have different artisan work on display. So, such as behind us, you can see Megan White has her Sky Woman painting on display. I was wondering whose <laughs> picture that, our yeah. painting that was. It's beautiful. So, um, we have a lot of other local artisans' work featured here. Some are on sale and some are just here on display. And local people are encouraged to come and check it out. And that was the whole point of today's um, open house, was really to show the community what we're here, what our goal is, and what we have to offer. Mm -hmm. Now, I know I see a lot more, um, obviously, native. Uh, artistry and uh, you know I think there was uh, some sort of idea floating out in the community that the Welcome Center was going to focus a lot on Katerita Kakwita. Is that something that you um, feel is important to uh, include in the Welcome Center? Um, Kateri de Kakwita is already focused a lot in our planning and what we are doing with our project this year. We aren't necessarily focusing on her at the center and displaying St. Kateri here. All information regarding St. Kateri, we do send visitors to the church so they can view everything at the shrine. They can purchase the souvenir tour booklet for $2 at the center, which is something that we've just created this year with the shrine. We've also created a... Um, audio video tour guide and it's a presentation that will complement every tour given or it can be given in the event that there is no tour guide present mm -hmm. and it's offered both in English and French. So we are working with the Shrine a lot in developing what they have to offer for visitors and how they can improve on what they have to offer. Okay. So aside from uh, showcasing the native artistry and the work obviously, what else are you guys planning or what other services do you offer? So what we're planning in the future is to have a tourism conference. So we're going to have a conference here in the community for all local community members to come and see what we have to offer once again. We'll have workshops about um, potential businesses that can be started, how they can um, have resources, so even through Dewajunizakta Small Business Services. Um, and if they come to the Welcome Center, then, um, you know, they're more than welcome and we'll give them all the information they need. Um, some of the other things that we're planning is uh, we're really working towards getting St. Kateri de Coquita uh, designated with the Quebec government, so that'll help. Um, if possible, could you explain uh, your budget and what are your operational expectations for the year to run something like this? Um, well, right now our budget was really to help the church, so a lot of our budget came from the Aboriginal Initiatives Fund, um, and then SBS, Small Business Services from Dewey Denis Zakta, was covering the remainder of the budget. Mm -hmm. um, we have used approximately $30,000 so far in promotional items and creating the souvenir tour booklet, also creating the tour presentation, creating additional brochures for the shrines. That is uh, the large budget that's going towards the shrine this year, so we're really helping them and promoting them. And then again, a lot of the tourism products go into there also and starting the Welcome Center go into there. Who owns the Welcome Center? Is it the Moa Council or is it Dewa Doni Zakta? Dewa Doni Zakta owns the Okanawage Welcome Center. Um, and located in the Gunawage Welcome Center is the tours and staff. So it's myself and two summer students, Joe and Dino Canadian and Julie DeLille, as well as on the top floor is social policy. It's a joint venture between the different organizations in the community. We're also working with small business services on improving the tourism guide and Shop Gunawage map, which is a larger budget, which I'm not exactly sure if I can disclose, but for budget information, you can always refer to the quarterly newsletter that Dewitt produces. So is there anything else uh, you think is important to add? Um, just that if anybody has any questions, comments, or ideas that they'd like to give to us, uh, you can reach us at the Ganawage Welcome Center, 635-2929, or you can email us at infotourism at kedc.biz.
Okay, so if you get the opportunity to come down here and check it out, there's a lot of beautiful beadwork and other native uh, artist materials going on. What are your days and hours that you'll be open? We're open seven days a week from 9 to 5 for the summer. Um, starting in at the end of August to September, we'll be going back to a regular 8.30 to 4, Monday to Friday. So there you have it. I'm Regan Jacobs reporting for the Gahnawage Mohawk Television Network.